Well, nothing could be more wonderful than the, than the huge focus on the environment that, that currently exists uh, here at Yale. And I think it's fascinating that for a time back in the 19th century, that Yale's official color uh, was green. The School of Forestry and Environmental Studies provided the first five directors of the U.S. Forest Service, really set us off on an environmental trajectory that, that still continues today. My family's had a long history with Yale, really, uh, at this point, probably 100 years. I've only been part of it for the last 40. I think Yale's commitment to being a leader in sustainability has really reached its peak in the last 10 to 15 years under Rick Levin's leadership. The progress that's been made over the last 20 years to put environment at the center of Yale has just been amazing. One manifestation of that has been Yale's commitment to green buildings. Not only this wonderful Croon Hall, but also the other buildings on campus that have been LEED certified over the past 20 years. Another manifestation of Yale's commitment to putting environment at the center of the university has been the creation of the Office of Sustainability. And what they've done in terms of increasing our recycling, working on how the campus is managed, has been a really tremendous area of progress over the last 20 years. Rick has, I think, uh, really internalized the mandate for sustainability. He understands the threat of global warming and climate change, which is really one of the most urgent threats facing the planet. He's made a dramatic commitment uh, on behalf of the university to reduce their emissions 43% by, I believe it's 2020. And he's really showing the way internally for the university, but he's showing the way to a much broader public, both in the United States and beyond. A further commitment to the environment here at Yale has been the creation of a wonderful partnership between the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies and Yale College for the delivery of the environmental studies curriculum. And I think another aspect that it's worth remembering is that while the students who come to Yale and who come to the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies are from all over the world, our programs are not only international and global in their scope, but they also make a difference here in New Haven. All of us in forestry and environmental studies and more broadly on the campus are hugely appreciative of what Rick Levin's done to put environment at the heart of Yale. Under Rick Levin's leadership and the stewardship that Peter Salovey will carry out as the incoming president of Yale University, I'm confident that Yale will remain a global leader in sustainability that Yale will be evergreen and will be teaching future generations of how to be stewards of the planet.